Hi, I'm Kenny Rabelais from TPG, and we're in the phase of planting. But before we plant, we need to plan just a little bit. A great way to plan is there are some awesome books out um, and go through many, many pictures and see the style that you like. And that's what most people that I recommend is seeing a style you like and then start planting the garden from there. Because if you just go buy plants from a garden center that you like that day, I promise you, your garden is not going to be worthwhile and you're going to spend all this time and energy and money on it and it's not going to be exactly what you want or the look you want. Like this is more of a structured garden but yet it has some loose elements to it that it's not so formal. Um, here is more of a colorful rose garden here that you would like. Now as you, you go through this, you might see some jewelry of the garden, you might have some urns, might have some pot. Now this is a very formal and very structured look here. Um, so you might, um, you know, you might like that look. Um, here is more of a um, free part garden that you're going to have a lot of movement in your garden. That's what you need to decide on first. You know, what part or what, what, what design that you like so far and then we're going to go to step number two on this. Now you have your look that you want, that you're going after. You have that picture, you have that image, you have that, you know, is it formal, is it less formal? One big question is, do I need privacy? Uh, Living in New Orleans and our, our houses are very close together, so a lot of people are looking for privacy with their neighbors, especially if they have pools. As you see this house uh, behind behind this house and here's the pool and they want some privacy and because of the room we plan them pretty close together and they will grow I mean totally within each other and they will actually cover this house up that is your first layer that you want to we want to talk about first in design once you pick out the style of your garden we're here at TPG I'm going to show you some of our favorite shrubs that go in landscape that we love to use in our landscapes and we love to educate our customers that they could put them in their landscapes that they can be very successful. Here's our first one is green pittosporum, a very old plant, uh, does very well, could grow in shade or could grow in sun, stays green. The new growth is the lighter green as you could see and as, as it stays on the bush it gets dark dark green. Um, you could shape it to um, squares, rounds, hedges, it's just a, a real nice plant that you can do a whole bunch of things to it. Three feet, four feet, five foot. Um, these are needlepoint hollies. And this is great along driveways, or, um, uh, a first layer of a front yard garden. And you can go ahead and plant these. These are in three gallons. And they're this size as you could see. And say you wanted, hey, I wanted four feet, I wanted five feet. You could let these grow thin, just like they are, and, and they could grow up to five feet tall. We're talking Sasanquas now. Sasanquas do awesome in our area. Um, right in front of me is uh, called Snow on a Mountain. This is um, in more of an upright and it'll grow um, about two and a half to three and a half feet tall if you let it. If you want to keep it about two feet, you could sure trim it and it'll get as thick as can be, evergreen and dark green. Now this is some color for our garden. This is really nice to put in as accents. Um, this is a kaleidoscope abelia. This will add a lot of color. You can see with the wind blowing, it gives you some movement. Uh, gives you tons of color. Uh, the colder it gets, the redder it gets. So it all obviously changes colors through the seasons. Great plant. Now when we're talking about azaleas at TPG, they, azaleas, there's hundreds and hundreds of varieties and most people just go after the bloom of course and say okay well, I want pink or I want white or I want salmon you know but we need to figure out how they grow and how they trimmed and how you're going to use them in your garden so the first question we ask is you know how they're going to be used in your garden and how you know how tall can they be it's like this is a GG Gerving GG Gerving uh, this uh, one it comes in white and um, this is there you can get this tall and or we could keep it this tall once it's planted. This is a pink ruffle which is beautiful too and you can see the leaf structure of these two compared to say like a indica azalea, uh, beautiful hot pink azalea but it's definitely a, a different leaf structure. If this is the color you like um, within two and a half feet this is your plant. Um, another indica azalea this is going to be actually a um, pink with a white in, in the in the center of it. 
Um, one of the newer azaleas that stay a little bit smaller, this is called Bloomathorn or, or Encore as they are, and they're rebloomers, and they're going to rebloom um, three to five times a year. You know, azaleas only bloom once a year, the traditional azaleas, but if you want something that actually blooms three or four times a year, this is it. So take a picture of your space or your garden, email it to us, bring it into the plant gallery, and we want to help you out. We will, we will walk around, find the right plant material for you, because we want you to be successful.